it's Judd from 1UP Reviews and today we've got a sneaker review and unboxing of the Nike Super Rep Groove. Before we get into this review guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up and once you see those likes, it helps us with algorithms. Drop some love in the comment section below, we try our best to reply to every single comment thrown out our way and I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we won't able to do this, so thank you. Let's get into it. So today, we have a look at the Nike Training Super Rep Groove and we got this in the white colorway and we got this in the UK size 7.5 so European 42 and it's the US 8.5 and let's have a look so here it is now for those that don't know uh, we have done a super rep review so check that out it's in the past and essentially the super rep those are Nike's workout sneakers. Originally, those were for training and predominantly it was for weight training. Now these, as Nike have done on their website, these are apparently dance sneakers. So, I don't think I've ever told this on the channel before, but I used to dance. Well, I used to do dance hip hop and street. This was a long time ago though, and back in the day, I'd be nice to wear Converse, so I never thought there were anything specific that dance sneakers had to have in them. Apparently, a sneaker that resembles a weightlifting sneaker is really helpful. So, we thought we'll have a look at one now for you guys, and we'll start with the outsole. So, this outsole is an all rubber outsole. Got a lot of traction pivot points here, so you can see the circular movements there. And what I do like about these sneakers, because they've incorporated the super rep midsole, you can see the shape there. They kind of made it more curvy, if that makes any sense. And if you have ever danced or tried to do like a pirouette, so what a pirouette is, obviously you're spinning on your toes. And that's really dope, like you can see it here with the curvature, you can find it in the toe, you can do a little spin. So really good, so I can kind of see in essence the thought process behind using a curved midsole unit. So the whole midsole unit is a foam going on to back to that and it's there for your cushioning, it's there for your support. You're going to be on your field day hitting those eight counts, so what better way to do it in some comfortable surroundings. Now we move along onto the upper, so this upper is a whole heap of synthetic materials. You can see the heated plastics here with the gold there and essentially this whole sneaker is reminds me of a rush you've run where that's an all mesh sock so you can see it here around the silhouette of the sneaker it's just a sock unit basically what i like is that on the lateral side you've got the essence of dance basically you've got groove sweat repeat mentioned there on the gold and on the medial side it says dare def do don't know what the depth is for, but I know what there is. So you look at the lace system. So the lacing system is a quick lace. Uh, it's just a quick fastening. So you've got the little fastener here. All you have to do is pull it. There you go, as tight as it needs. Obviously these were built with no laces. I mean, people can trip when they're dancing. So you can see the benefits of having a lace system like this. You don't have any bunny ears flopping around whilst you're dancing. It's got a low cut just to give more ankle mobility when you're doing some moves. Nice heel pull tab there. And the heel clip is very nice. It's not rigid, it's quite soft and rather flexible because, you know, I mean, you're gonna be rotating your feet a lot. Dancing is a workout, guys. So if, you, if you're there to laugh at dancers, don't because it's a hell of a workout, it's a lot of cardio. Round it off with the super rep, so I forgot to mention that you got super rep logo here, written on the side of the heel, and it's on the inside of the sneaker. The tongue, nicely padded, you got a Nike logo there in gold. And that rounds off my review. 
I really wish that I had knew about these sneakers when I started to dance instead of using Converse's. Well, Converse's were all right, I used, cause they were flat. But if I want to improve on like my spins, my pirouettes and all, your shuffles and all that full fancy footwork, I think these are really beneficial, especially with the pivot points that you can see on the traction of the sneaker. So I might sneak in a moonwalk here or there when I do this on feet. So on average, I'm me trying these on. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend maybe get a half size up to what you usually wear from Nike. Um, these are really tight, even though they are my Nike size. My toes are, I mean, essentially they're where they need to be here. If I did get a half size up, there's gonna be a bit of space, but it feels really tight just around the sides. I kind of get it because it's a lot there for that lockdown support. Uh, it's not, there's no slippage or anything. So maybe that's, why it feels a bit too tight. Um, yeah, you saw me do a little pirouette. It was relatively easier to do, I guess, because of the traction padding that's at the toe there. And to be honest, guys, maybe, maybe because I've been dancing in like flat sneakers for so long, I'm just used to it. Um, I don't really see a difference personally. These do feel comfy though, but if you're looking for a normal dance, shoe i guess you can use anything that's there in the market but that's just my personal preference Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us at One Up Reviews with the ZDN. That's on Instagram. Until next time, peace.